here let's open the door and here we have it the 992 gt3 oh my gosh that is beautiful the shark blue color is my favorite color out of all the gt3s it looks amazing look at that rear end that is amazing we have another random 992 gt3 just sitting right here this looks like the pts chop gray <laughs> The manager said we are allowed to look at this one. All right, guys, so before we check out the blue GT3, we are just here in the back of the showroom over here. So right here we have a 991.2 911 Targa. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I've only seen one 992 Targa. And there goes one of my dream cars, Nissan 350Z. But this car is just so, so beautiful. Oh, this is a GTS. So this thing is like an even more high performance model. We have a whole bunch of Panameras over here. We don't really need to go there because it's just a bunch of Cayennes and Panameras over there. And this generation is the 718 generation, which is basically the 718. Now, this is just the Taycan Turbo, but the Taycan Turbo S, in fact, is actually my dream electric car. And I do like it more than any electric hypercar. But Porsche's version of the chalk gray, oh my gosh, it just looks so, so good. I am talking very, very fast because we do not have much time over here now this is the 991.2 generation you can tell by the taillights and everything tycon over there oh my gosh it looks so so good okay so we're gonna check out this 991.1 gt3 and this is very unique because if you look over here in the back you can actually notice that it has no engine yes the four liter naturally aspirated flat six is fully gone and so is that pdk transmission i'm pretty sure and also back here 996 gt3 absolutely beautiful it looks pretty like toned down compared to the 992 gt3 inside the showroom and also look cayenne hybrid right there look it's plugging in right now with the charging station from porsche also here 718 k came in and then over here we have a whole bunch of Porsche SUVs that I do not much care about but then back there as you can see the GT3 RS check this out the Porsche 911 991.1 GT3 RS this has a four liter naturally aspirated flat six revs to almost 9,000 rpm but the 991.2 actually revs to fully 9,000 rpm back to 356 911 Targa <laughs> So we are going to take a look at the 992 GT3 right now. Okay, so before we go there, I just want to say a few things about the showroom. So here we have a Taycan over there. That is my favorite electric car. I'm not sure if that's a Taycan Turbo S. Looks like a 4S, but this 911 right here, it's the exact same one that we rode in last weekend. So this one has a seven speed manual transmission, three liter flat six twin turbocharged engine. We got a whole bunch of shots last weekend of it. So stay tuned for the video of that. Then over here, we have a 991.2 GT3 all the way back there. I'm not talking about the yellow one, but the yellow one is a 991.1. Then over here, we have a Porsche flat knows these things are extremely rare it looks super super good and over here we have an older 911 all right so i just found this 992 gt3 i was just going to the restroom and everything so anyway we are going to check it out here again my little 11 year old brother filming for tiktok y'all but check out this safari 911 this is a 991.1 that is sick Also next to that 991.2 Turbo S, there is another one back there. It is a 991.2. That is pretty loud. But anyway, just check out the 992 GT3 right here and finished in this white. It looks pretty good. I prefer the shark blue though. The shark blue is like one of my dream specs on the 992 GT3 and it was also like the launch color of it. And I do prefer the shark blue over this white. And these two nostrils remind me of an Aventador SVJ, the way those two are on the hood and everything right near the front bumper. But then here, take a look at this front grill right here. It's actually not that big if you look at it. But then if you look right here, there are just these big plastic areas covering up. Now you get a four liter flat six naturally aspirated engine in the back over here revs to 9,000 rpm makes around i think 503 horsepower i'm not exactly sure but it's either 503 or 510 but yeah there's a lot of plastic on the back more than i was expecting actually and also if you take a look back here you have fake vents in the back oh my gosh it's actually a really great bargain if you ask me Evo rear wheel drive. Yep. Ooh. You wanna go take a video of that? It's <laughs>
No. <laughs> I cannot drive this one. I'm way too short. <laughs> do you want to do a video of him? I'll, we'll get him set up. So what she can do is she can video you. Yes. So Thank then, you. <laughs> so you just put your foot on that one. Alright, it is a different day now. We actually have two more GT3s back here. Here's the first one. I'm not going to show it yet. I'm going to show it in a few seconds, but it is finished in chalk gray with yellow brake calipers. Oh my gosh, this is just an absolute top spec right here. Just check out the chalk gray on the new GT3. It's one of my favorite specs on it, and I don't really like the yellow calipers that much, but oh my gosh, this thing is so beautiful in chalk gray. And also look right there. We also have another GT3, but this one's covered up. Finished in chalk gray, silver wheels, and the red brake calipers. I actually like the red brake calipers a little bit more. But anyway, just take a look at this. Covered up GT3. Something I wouldn't have expected. And yeah, so anyway, behind me there are hyper cars, but I'm going to make a future video of that. But anyway, here's the other GT3. This is my fifth GT3 I've seen. I can't believe I'm already saying that. Like two weeks ago, I saw the first GT3. The GT3 is just such a beautiful looking car, especially in the rear. Front kind of skeptical about it, to be honest. In my opinion, it does look like it has a manual gearbox because that's the way Porsche designed it. But I just love the way this thing looks. I I wasn't too sure about those front nostril looking things in the front. The rear wing has also grown on me a whole bunch because I didn't really like the swan neck style. I prefer the GT3 RS style wing, but now I think I kind of like the swan neck. It's becoming one of my favorite Porsches of all time. Of course, I would choose it with a manual though because we're not going to have the manual transmission for much longer, so it's better to have it while it's still here, and when it's gone, it's gone. We can't reverse it. I'm going to end today's video inside of the new Porsche 911 992 GT3, so that is basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video please give it a like subscribe down below if you haven't already again stay tuned for the full review of this porsche 911 992 gt3 coming soon but anyway we're out in three two one so for the 6992 GT3 that I ever saw, it was at Porsche of South Orlando. This was like a week after we saw these GT3s, and there was one. And this was the only good picture that I got, and then here was the other one, which is orange, and you can kind of see it, but it did have a really good wing. This was the best picture I got of it. I'm very sorry for that. And again, remember to stay tuned for the full review of the brand new Porsche 911 992 GT3. That video will be coming up very, very soon, and I know you will love it. So anyway, now let's redo the outro. Again, stay tuned for the full review of this Porsche 911 992 GT3 coming soon, but anyway, we're out in 3, 2, 1.